way out west, there's a place I want to tell you about. A place where champions gather. Now, you may not see any bulls around these parts. But trust a fellow who knows a thing or two. You're looking at a rodeo. So crack open some of that good sarsaparilla. Because the boys are headed to a shootout. Welcome everyone to the great state of Texas, home of one of the largest police riding skills competitions in the country, also known as a rodeo. These events are where motorcycle officers race through a complex maze of cones and maneuvers to test the skills that they have developed to respond to emergency situations. And in just three days time, Zach and I are going to be facing off with more than 100 of the most talented motorcyclists with a badge and a gun. Only problem here is uh, we don't actually have any training or experience doing anything like this. We don't even have a badge or a gun. We do, however, have the appropriate motorcycles. I have here a 2013 BMW R1200 RTP. That's P for police, everybody. It has a mere 77,000 miles on the clock and I purchased it for 2,500 American dollars. I have a 2016 Harley Davidson Police Road King. I was not able to purchase one because uh, they hold their value incredibly well, but I did manage to borrow a fully equipped police rodeo practice bike. Which is to say it's a cheater bike, which is to say Ari is already cheating. Whatever the case, our motorcycles have far more experience than we do. So in a desperate attempt to not embarrass ourselves at this rodeo, we're gonna try and get up to speed with a little one-on-one -on -one training from the reigning rodeo champion himself, Mr. Donnie Williams. traffic cones had a guardian angel, it would look a lot like this man here. Donnie Williams sets him up and almost never knocks him down. Which is why he's got more crowns than a T-ball team at Burger King. Somehow, the CTXP fellas had convinced Donnie to show him the ropes of motorcycle rodeo riding. Just a single day of training for whatever good it do. And first up was a slice of humble pie. You guys may be really experienced riders and have more knowledge of, of what we're about to do than I think, and that's, that's great if you do, but I think you guys will have a new respect for what we do when you guys go through this and see what the bikes can do if you do the right thing and the right technique and you'll see what they will do if you don't do the right thing. Right. Yeah, so, what, so how, do you, how do you usually proceed when people are coming out here to get trained? So just to let you know, in a motor school, we have already gone through dropping the bike over, learnt, teaching you how to pick the bike up correctly so you don't hurt your bike. We've already gone through the parking because you don't want to be that guy that's here, 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 and then this guy's way over here. And then really, we just kind of get into starting up on teaching them the technique with the clutch throttle brake. And that's where we start now. So do you guys want me to show you on my bike first? Sure, whatever you think's okay. best. Yeah. All right. With a heart of gold and the patience of a kindergarten teacher, Donnie explained how to mount up like an officer, plus how to gracefully dismount, and of course, how to pick up a stricken steed, even for those lacking championship-sized muscles. Then he rode through the slalom faster than a prairie fire with a tailwind. And made the offset weave look as easy as roping a three-legged calf. Your move, Cali boys. Good luck, buddy. Never ridden this motorcycle before. Never ridden in front of an officer like this before. 
kind of feel like I'm doing a sobriety test or something. All right, we got Zach lining up in the course first. This is the slalom, the cone slalom. Sounds like it's all about timing. Putting your bike right in the gate where it needs to be, and then being comfortable going full lock to full lock. Ah, ah, ah. I'm supposed to be doing this faster. Ah, whoop, touch the cone. Already losing points, already knocking over cones. Okay, I screwed it up. Don't get in the habit of looking at those cones. Gotcha. Don't look at the cones. Okay. We can do better than that. There we go. Getting the head up helps so much. Certainly not going fast. Certainly not going smooth, but I'm doing it. All right, no cones have been knocked down. That is a success. I like it. I was hoping that I was gonna get to help you guys more, but you're, guys, you're already such good riders. It's so, oh, you flatter uh, us. Little, uh, but uh, you know, we still got some other things that gets a little bit more challenging, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I got a feeling you probably have something in your back pocket where you yeah. can just put us right on the ground. So what we, this is normally called the intersection. To pass the motor school, you've got to at least go each direction. You got to do it four times. One of those out of the four, you have to at least go the way you don't like to go. Okay. One at a time for right now. One at a time, yeah. okay. Just one at a time. Look where you're going, look where you're going. <laughs> Just not enough speed on that one. Look at me, right here. Oh hey, how's it going? Ah! <laughs> Do it again, keep going, keep going, I'll get it. Yep, 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 yep. All right. For the rest of the afternoon, Donnie did his best to educate the rookies on the art of the two-wheel tango. Eyes up, revs up, feather the clutch. And don't you dare touch that front brake. You guys really did great. I mean, I, I'm not just saying that. Like I said, I've trained a lot of a lot of officers, I've trained a lot of civilians who actually do this and they just want to get some more training to get better. And man, you guys just went through that like, like nothing and y'all listen, you got some habits of, I got to tell you to keep, yep, you know, absolutely. the cheating eyes, you keep wanting to look down, <laughs> gonna, I get it, our you want to see, you want to make sure your, your tire's where it needs to be, but try to remember that when you guys get to, down to the competitions and stuff, just let your peripheral vision see those cones in front of you okay. and just be looking where you're going, not where you're at. It's challenging, but it's super fun, and oh. we certainly appreciate you showing us how to do it. You're very yeah. welcome. Yeah, man. thanks so much for your time, man. I think we'll just, yeah. like, spend the rest of the afternoon trying to Absolutely. get better. Thanks so much. Yeah, I guess bro. we'll see you in a few yeah, days. This is great, man. Great. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you bet. I got a newfound respect for the old Road King here after seeing how just smoothly it can dance through a cone course. <laughs> and I gotta say, the, the training, I thought, was a success. Like, I, I learned some new stuff, which is exciting. Huge, huge success. It was a crash course, and not in the way that it usually is That's with true. Zach and Ari. But we do have to get from where we trained here with Mr. Donnie Williams near Dallas to where the competition is south of Austin, which is around 250 miles. Hopefully smooth sailing from here. Down to Buda, we will register and then we will be very intimidated by a huge fleet of police officers with a lot more skill than us. But for now, a road trip. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Showing up to a new race club and a new racetrack, you know, to do something that you're probably the worst at here. Yeah, with society's disciplinarians. <laughs> wow, how are we gonna remember where to go? <laughs> the pond had just gotten a lot bigger, but the West Coast fish, well, 
they were about the same size. Memorizing the course was critical, and the roots were more tangled than a family tree in Louisiana. We got our training with individual obstacles, and what they've done here is link together a ton of obstacles, many of which we've never seen, these new maneuvers. Um, so it's as much about being precise with the bike, but also knowing where you need to go, which is not gonna be great for me with my bad memory, but um, we're trying to soak it up, we're trying to understand where the riders are going, and then there are all these different practice courses, and sooner or later we're gonna quit procrastinating and actually get started. I think after we finish this, so maybe we should talk a little bit more so that we don't have to suit up, man. I haven't dropped my bike yet, so once I do that, I feel like my nerves will, will kind of loosen up a little bit. Okay, cross your fingers for us, everybody. Here we go. I'm going for it. I'm going for it, Eric. Uh, I think this is right. Oh, wow. This is so tight. What the f All right, I'm going to peg the first cone. I think I'm doing it right, but I'm genuinely not sure. And I tagged a cone. Damn. Oh, way off. Oh, I'm so f***ed. Oh. Ah. I'm falling apart here. Oh my god, I'm so glad to be done with it. That was punishing. Whoops, sorry. That was, sorry sir. You know how we said we were worried about embarrassing ourselves and looking awkward and foolish? That's me right now, very much so. Wow. It's a, it's a type of stress that I haven't felt since getting called into like the principal's office. I don't know why I feel like I'm in trouble. I just feel like I'm in people's way. I don't know where I'm going and I'm disappointing Donnie. And it's just, it's a lot going on all at once. That's the hard, that's one of the hardest things is coming out of one and remembering exactly where you're yeah. supposed to be when you turn into You inevitably turn in too early and then you just run out of track. Oh. That's the only way you get better at it, you can get back in line. Yep, well okay. that's what we're gonna do, thanks man. Get back in line. This is humbling. I don't remember the last time I was this bad at riding a motorcycle. These fellows may have ridden a bike or two, but just because a chicken has wings, don't mean it can fly. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But they persevered. And little by little, Turn by turn, cone by cone, they started to figure it out. The first course that we were riding today, we at least know what we need to do better and what we suck at. Which feels like a miracle based on where we started this morning. <laughs> That's true. So now there are two other large courses that we need to learn, one of which is the first test for tomorrow. Yeah, so we actually compete on this one tomorrow. We have spent zero time on it and the learning curve is very steep. So we're planning on putting in the hours this afternoon in order to learn it because you only get one shot on each course during the competition. One shot. Fire up the lights, people. We're putting in the hours. The next morning, training wheels came off and the real deal got going. Departments from all over the country rolled in, eager to test their mettle against the best of the West.
It's race day, folks. This is why Zach and I came to Texas. It's why we trained with Donnie Williams. It is why we stayed up late into the night practicing. And of course, it's why we are in our Revzilla uniforms. So the way this works, uh, you go in numerical order, one to 150 or however many people are here, uh, over three courses in the next three days. And they are in the high 30s for course one right now. I am number 43. I am extremely nervous. Uh, we know that Donnie's training helped. We know the courses. We just have never done this before. And we're about to, it's race day. Like, I'm, I got the jitters, man. You only get one shot. So there's a lot of sitting around waiting, a lot of time for nerves to build. And uh, yeah, it's very nerve wracking. And we're very concerned that we might crack under pressure. For Donnie, for Revzilla, for CTXP. We can do this. The rules of the rodeo go something like this. You ride for time, but you don't just have to be quick. Rub a cone, there's a one second penalty. Knock a cone over, that's two seconds, partner. And put a foot down or tip over, well, you might as well tuck tail and head home. Okay, here we go. This is it, everybody. All right. I am good to go. All comes to this. Just jumping right in. I always hit that cone. Let's see if I can avoid that. Okay, first couple corners in the books. Come on, Zach. Quick transitions, need the quick transitions. Oh. Okay, I just gotta stay focused here. A little relief, eyes up, ribs up. Come on, Zach, come on, come on, come on. Stair step. Sputter from the bike. Come on, Willie. Keep it going, buddy. Almost through, almost through, almost through. Come on. Nice run. The man from Revzilla, number 43, Zach Porch. Nice job, Zach. Thanks, Doc. Next up, number 44, Houston oh, PD. Woo! Dude, that was awesome. Thank you, thank that you. So Thanks, Donnie. Oh man, the bar has been set. Woo. Yeah, okay. Wow. Whew. Holy crap. Somehow, the metric muchacho had done all right. But these horses are about as friendly as fire ants. And as he waited around for his turn, the Harley Hombre was already looking a bit stung. The sun is much lower in the sky because many hours have passed since Zachary went and did his incredible run. During all that time, I have done nothing but stress and fret and freak out internally. But as Donnie said, I just gotta ride my own ride, get the hell out of my own way. I know how to do this. If I crack out there, it is all on me. I just need to breathe. I got this. You show do. You show do. I am very nervous though. You might have noticed by now that Blondie was pretty tight-lipped on his go-round. Seems he was a bit overdrawn at the memory bank. Anyhow, he better be quick if he planned to keep knocking over cones.
Knocked a few over, but didn't get locked out, which is what I really wanted to avoid. 122, is that with penalties? Yeah, all right, well. Yeah, I think I knocked one over here, too. I mean, my, like, yeah, my legs, my legs feel like noodles. All right, well, that's it for today. We got lots more, though. First race in the books. Yes. Feeling good, feeling good. Well, the sun had set on the first day of rodeoing, but the competition was just getting started. The next day meant learning a new chorus and mowing down more than a few cones in order to do it. Okay, I'm gonna go line up. Ah! Oh, I already it up. Ah! Ups and downs are all part of the police rodeo experience. And the boys were in good company in their struggles. Meanwhile, Uncle Donnie was cool as a glass of sweet tea, slamming out fast, clean runs and setting a high bar for how it's done. But there was still a full day of competing left to go. And you better believe the toughest riding was yet to come. Third and final day of competition is underway. Zach and I are tired in weird places in our forearms and shoulders that we didn't know we had. Our brains are exhausted from navigating these courses, but it all boils down to today. And as far as we can tell, we got some curveballs coming our way. On the docket is the third and final cone course, which we have learned, but also a team ride where we are told we will be tethered together <laughs> with a Velcro strap and we have to go through a barrel race next to each other without breaking the, the tether. It's a, it's a very literal interpretation of our CTXP relationship. And uh, we'll hope not to embarrass ourselves or Mr. Donnie, of course. Yeah, we have no clue where we are in the overall standings. Yeah. Frankly, it doesn't matter. We're just trying to ride as best we can, utilize the skills we've learned, obviously have fun, and you know, try not to knock over any more cones or motorcycles. Are you suggesting that we're not winning? Definitely not winning. Not even close. Before getting to the two-man tether, there was a matter of the final cone course. Once again, the bearded buck got through his run smoother than peanuts in a Jif factory. Oh, that was hectic. Oh. Meanwhile, the other fella just kept ripping his britches. Oh, I'm gonna plow a cone. I'm gonna plow a couple cones. Oh. All right. Not my finest work. But I made it through. Uh, the nerves, man. I got a lot to work on. Thanks, man. Sometimes you ride the rodeo, and sometimes the rodeo rides you. So as far as we know, the two-man tether event, if that's even what it's called, is where two motorcycles are tethered together with a 36 inch piece of Velcro in the case of the actual competition. And you have to go sort of like a barrel race at a rodeo. You have to go around three barrels and then loop back out to the finish. So it's a pretty short course. It's pretty simple, but it's obviously extremely complex because one bike is, has to go around the outside of the other one. And then you have to switch positions. And, and as far as we know, most people aren't mixing metrics and Harleys. So no, we're, we're, uh, we're making it even harder on ourselves. We're breaking down barriers here. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? I don't know, but wherever we're going, we're going slow. Ready? Sure. <laughs> Alright, I'm turning okay, left. Yeah, right. I'm going around. Nice, nice. Ah. 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 Okay. okay. Okay, you go around now, turn in. Okay. Oh, 
okay, okay. All right, what are we gonna do when we get to the end here? We're gonna go left? We're gonna go left. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. Three, two, one, left. Oh, 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 goodness. Okay, let's come to a stop, let's stop. Not bad. Okay. I feel like we probably got a little tension on it at one point, but it didn't yep. seem like it got that bad. A little, little key here, there has to be an alpha. That person controls. Slow, when slow, calls slow, the slow, shots. Slow, 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 go, 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 go. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, because if you're both trying to communicate, yeah, we just experienced that. We're like, should we go left now? Yeah, so that makes perfect sense. I assume you've never done it with a Harley and a metric at the same time. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a little different, but yeah, yeah. the metric's going to have to be cautious about going too fast because it can turn tighter. Okay. And it's quicker getting up on, on the. Okay. Bottom. So maybe you should alpha, and I'll try and follow. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, Appreciate it. Yeah, Let's look. back up. Let's just, because we're in the way here. You don't, you don't think we can go in there and do a super tight turnaround? <laughs> no, I don't. All right, so you're going to call the ball. Yep. That's why we practice. The Beta Boys kept practicing for the tandem race. It went about as well as you'd think. But the clock had run out. Ready or not, it was time for their final showdown. All right, man. We trained with Donnie. We learned the ways of the Donnie Williams Dojo. We showed up here, we failed <laughs> horribly. We had some success. You had more success than, than I did, but overall the team showed well, I'd like to think, for having never done anything like this before. And like, what a rad way to experience bikes. This is gonna be interesting. Yes, it is going to be interesting, you're right. Here it comes. Please tell me that Donnie's not watching. Yeah. All right, you ready? Oh my God. Right, well, we just gotta survive this one. Okay, okay, okay. This is our last hurrah on okay. the course. <laughs> so smooth and Oof. steady. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Yep. Go. Very smooth and steady. Let's go Let's big, go. wide turn. Ready? Gotcha, gotcha. Yep, turn, turn it in. Turn. Nicely done. Yep, yep, yep. Nicely done. Uh -huh. All right, across. Yep, 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 yep. Very good, nice. Good, good. Excellent. Okay, nice ready? Wide, nice wide turn. I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna yep, bring yep, it yep. wide for you. All right, all right, we're going farther left. We're going yep, yep. wide on this one. All right, Zach, we're doing good so far. All right, turning. Okay, I'm with you, turning. I'm with you. I'm yep, with you. Yep, yep, Keep Look, going. Almost touching crash bars. Yep, one more rotation. Right, looking ah. where I'm going. Oh, okay, ready? We're not gonna accelerate hard. We're just gonna go nice and smooth okay. through the cones. Go, go, go. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Nice, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Survived it. All right. Oh, we're very, very proud of ourselves on that one. Ending on I'm a high note. Extremely proud. Thank you, guys. Thanks. All right. Whew. Time for a beer. Yeah, agreed. Well, what do you know? I guess those California poppies did all right in the end. Sure, they made more mistakes than a cross-eyed accountant. But they also learned a few new tricks and made some new friends. And that makes for a rich man around these parts. As for Donnie, he made like that arch and parry. And triumphed once again. But regardless of the champion, there is some mighty impressive riding at these here rodeos. An officer or a medic on a motorbike can get places other folks can't or get there faster. And I reckon I take comfort in that. So if you ever meet someone out on the trail who says otherwise, you can tell them about a place out west. A place that you now know a thing or two about. These wandering eyes ain't going nowhere. They may take a step or two. They travel, they stay true. These 
I can't help but have these ones. 